on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Uh, the term, you know, whoever coined it and when. JR, I just want clarity. Are you saying based on the, the I don't know, commonly, I guess, understood definition of that phrase, high value man in the in this space? Are you talking about that? Or were you just saying high value man? I was just saying in general. And, okay, that's what and, I and thought. I, and I'm pretty sure people have different exposure as to what okay. it means to them. So, okay. and, it, and since it's used um, all the time, I just wanted to know if there was a difference. So, you know, we can, people can state their opinions and it's just, so, your, it's just your opinions. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, can, I, can I address well, Courtney real fast? Right? Can hold I address Courtney? Hold on, let Logic address Courtney and then we'll right. move on the case. So now, it's fair. You're right. I'm assuming, and I'm assuming based off of what what I see, right? Okay. Now, is it fair to say that you're also assuming? No. What the fuck? In reality, you know, if they lost it all tomorrow, they wouldn't know how to get it back, you know? So that's just my sense. Two cents. All right. Island Girl Q. Is there a difference between a high earning and high value, man? Um, I know. I mean... I just know I didn't know the whole list of what it takes to be high value man. Of course, y'all have said it on the on the on the pod. I mean, on the YouTube channel, but high earner, high value. I still was kind of half listening to what Rilla was saying regarding the list. Um, high earner, of course, I think is a man that makes six figures. So, um, in my eyes, it's high earner. Just I think six figures after taxes because before taxes. It's it's a whole different and whole different ball game, but I I can't compare it to high value because I don't really know the in depth nature of Kevin Samuel's definition or whoever he got it from's definition to compare or tell the difference at all. So yeah. Hi Anton, is there a difference between a high earner and high value man? Your opinion? Yeah, I think it is. I think Quest kind of. For the most part, I think he just misspoke a little bit when it came to the getting lucky part um, and, you know, a couple little details or whatever like that. But I think he hit it pretty much, you know, as far as being accurate and that it's a lot of people that make money, but it's not it doesn't necessarily come the right way. Right. It's a lot of people that do some slimy stuff and that don't necessarily mean that it translate into being high value. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I rock with people based off of character. So. It's people that I've disassociated myself with. Glenn and Cameron being one, he is a bag check. He get a lot of money, but I won't do business with him because me and him don't align from a character perspective. So I had to disassociate myself um, as far as being a part of that network. So I was willing to forego that, you know, instead of collaborating and, and looking how we can link up and things like that. So I think that it is a difference between being a high earner and a high value man. I think Quest pretty much, for the most part, captured it. All right. Okay. Is there a difference in your opinion? I know you've been hearing a lot of things and uh, people tend to associate high value with, with certain people, but it's, it's been around for a while. And if you had to look at it without any context, would you say in your opinion that there's a difference between the two? Absolutely. Um, high earner just means you make a lot of money. When I think high value man, high value person, I think of more, um, uh, qualitative things about their character, their, you know, integrity, like, are they honest? What type of person are they? Um, there are a lot of horrible people who make tons of money. There are a lot of amazing people who make not much money. So I think there's a huge difference between being a high earner and a high value man. Are you equating value to integrity? I'm a, when I hear high value man, I'm thinking about, again, a lot of the qualitative things about a person. Who are they? What are their values? Um, you know, what did they, how would they act in this situation or that situation? Um, it's not necessarily associated with their money for me. Um, you can be a high earner and a high value man. I mean, both can happen at the same time, but I don't think that just because you're a high earner that you're a high value man, because when I think of high value, value does not just have to do with money. So a lot of other character traits would have to come into play. So do you really, oh, go ahead, Courtney. 
Well, I, I understand that. But again, that's why I wanted to specify that the difference, it's a definition. So you're using value as what value means to you, but high value man is it's defined. So, so it's not, it's not, well, you know, if you're a valuable man, I think of more than money. Like I understand that, but it's a definition. So we can't change a definition that literally was defined 30 years ago. So as a, as, as, a, as a phrase, high value man, whoever coined it, I have no idea who, I don't know what it means. Nothing. I'm looking at the words high value and man. But, but, I'm looking at it objectively. I don't know who coined the okay. phrase. I don't care who coined the phrase. I don't. That has nothing to do with me. But Look, ain't I'm, nobody on YouTube even knew what the hell this was until. I hear the term. Hold I mean, on, Roger, right, hold on. So, it's, okay, so it's defined, and uh, people on in this section of YouTube, particularly Black YouTube, didn't know it really till Kevin Samuels popularized it. Now, I will say this, and I think this is something that a lot of people do on YouTube, where you're going to, because Logic, you can't say that Kevin Samuels was not a high value man because you saw how he recorded maybe three years ago or four mm -hmm. years ago, because you're assuming it's not mm -hmm. a fact. Okay, can I, one question? can I? Hold on, y'all. Let's try to keep it off. Uh, okay, let's try to get back. So I'm asking one question. Is it fair to say? Wait. I'm not. Is it fair to say that you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me finish speaking. So I know a lot of people that got a lot of equipment and they look great via online, but live like a bum offline. So we don't know what he was financially three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. That man could have been in a room getting another house built that took him a year or two to build or a studio. Oh, so girl. we can't assume. So you kept stating facts, 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 but it's not a fact. It's your opinion. You're assuming oh, that because of how you I saw him. So JR, real quick. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta just say my name. Let me just address her real fast, I'm right? Really just trying to answer the question that JR no, asked. Hold on, hold on. I just wait, I wait, hold on. I kinda time. wish I would have had this energy in the beginning so when like, I was you know, doing the introduction. I'm just trying to see yeah. something because Courtney brought up, you know, the whole like, you know, uh the term, you know, whoever coined it and when. JR, I just want clarity. Are you saying based on the the I don't know? commonly i guess understood definition of that phrase high value man in the in this space are you talking about that or were you just saying high value man i was just saying in general and, okay that's what and, I thought. I, and i'm pretty sure people have different exposure as to what okay. it means to them so okay. and, it, and since it's used um all the time i just wanted to know if there was a difference so you know we can people can state their opinions and it's just so, your, it's just your opinion so, go ahead okay. uh, can, I, can i address well, quarter real fast can hold I just on. Put hold on. Let Logic address Courtney and then we'll right. move on the okay. case. So now it's fair. You're right. I'm assuming. And I'm assuming based off of what? What I see, right? Okay. Now, is it fair to say that you're also assuming? No. What the fuck? 